Life insurance is a critical part of our financial planning. Originally, life insurance was started with an idea to pool money from individuals and provide financial support to the family in case of death of the policyholder or bread earner in the family. However, today, life insurance has evolved into an insurance come financial planning firm with multiple products catering to different financial needs of individual with a mix of financial protection on death of policyholder as well as return on maturity. In spite of being around for a long time, life insurance is still an underpenetrated sector in India. It means there are still a lot of people without any life insurance. On top of that, majority of Indians have very low amount of life insurance coverage as compared to the actual money required during emergency. And when it comes to medical insurance, every year millions of people end up selling their properties and asset for medical treatment just because they don't have medical insurance. However, there is a growing awareness of importance of life insurance and today it is one of the fastest growing sector in the country and has created great opportunity for investors to create wealth by investing in the life insurance companies. Hello everyone, my name is Sahil and this is my personal finance academy where I explain everything about money management in layman's language. Welcome to the fifth episode of the stock comparison series where we will compare the top companies in life insurance sector. But before we proceed, I want to sincerely thank you all for such an overwhelming response. I have crossed 50,000 subscribers, something that I never imagined. This would really motivate me to work even harder and help you in your financial journey. So we can broadly classify the insurance sector in two categories, life insurance and non-life insurance. Life insurance deals with protection of life. It also includes medical insurance. Non-life insurance deals with things like property insurance, vehicle insurance, business insurance, etc. In this video, we will specifically focus on the life insurance sector. We will first start with analyzing the life insurance sector in India, key trends for the future. Then we will briefly discuss about each of the companies including SDFC Life, SBI Life and ICC Prudential Life Insurance. Finally, we will do a financial comparison of all these three companies on parameters like growth ratio, profitability ratio, valuation, etc. Before we start with the analysis, there is a small request. As today's topic is on life insurance, you could actually save a life. One of my senior from MBA college has a son who is suffering from a critical illness and requires expensive treatment. If you could help him, then you will save an innocent life. Details are there in the description box. All right, let's get started. The beginning of the Indian insurance industry dates back to the 19th century. In 1818, Europeans started Oriental Life Insurance Company in Kolkata to exclusively serve their community. The Indian policyholders paid more premium than European counterparts. Indians desperately wished for Indian insurance companies. In 1870, Bombay Mutual Life Assurance Society became the first Indian insurance company to cover the lives of the Indians at normal rates. Slowly, there were many insurance companies operating in various parts of the country. Finally, in 1956, Indian government nationalized the life insurance sector and LIC came into existence. It absorbed a total of 254 Indian and foreign insurance companies. LIC had the monopoly in India till late 90s when insurance sector was reopened for private sector. Privatization created competition that increased the efficiency of insurance business. Today, there are 24 life insurance companies in India including LIC, SDFC Life, SBI Life, ICIC Prudential Life, Max Life, Kotak Mahindra Life, Aditya Billa Sun Life, Tata AIA Life Insurance, Bajaj Alliance, etc. Folks, life insurance is still not a public company. Government is planning to launch its IPO in FY22 and it is estimated to be launched at a valuation of 10 to 12 lakh crore, which would make it among the top three most valued companies in the country. Within life insurance, there are various product categories. First is term plan. It is the purest form of life insurance where the policyholder can get a good coverage at low premium. However, if the person survives the policy period, he won't get any return on maturity. Second is endowment plan. It is a mix of insurance and investment where the person would get life coverage on death as well as get a fixed return on maturity in case the person survives the insurance duration. 
It is also known as non-par category. Third category is ULIP plan. In this category, the person get life cover as well as fixed return on maturity and the additional profit which are variable. It is also known as PAR category. Life insurance sector would see a good growth in the future on account of rising income level, greater awareness about life insurance and medical insurance, increasing reach of insurance companies in rural part of the country, inclusion of various channels for policy distribution and easy online purchase. The central government has launched two insurance schemes, Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bima Yojana and Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bima Yojana. The purpose of this scheme is to provide insurance protection to account holders of the bank at a very reasonable cost. Established in year 2000, HDFC Life is a part of most prestigious HDFC group of the country with a joint venture between HDFC Limited and a Mauritius-based global investment company named Standard Life Aberdeen. Company has 421 branches with access to additional touch point through a very strong and diversified distribution channel with 270 plus partners ranging from traditional banks to NBFCs to new age fintech and insurtech companies. As on March 31st, 20, company has 31 individual and 11 group products in its portfolio including protection, pension, saving, investment, annuity and health solution. As of September 20, SDFC Life has an AUM of 1.5 lakh crore. Established in year 2000, SBI Life is a joint venture between India's largest commercial bank SBI and BNP Paribas. The company has developed a multi-channel distribution network comprising bank branches of SBI and its associated banks, individual agent network and other distribution channels including direct sales and sales through corporate agents, brokers, insurance marketing firm and other intermediaries. As of September 20, SBI Life has an AUM of 1.8 lakh crore. Established in year 2001, ICICI Prudential is a part of ICICI Bank and Prudential Corporation Holding Limited. As of FY20, company has 517 company branches with almost 1.9 lakh agents and 25,000 partner branches. As of December 20, it has a total asset under management that is AUM of Rs 2 lakh crore. If you look at the market cap, SDFC Life has a market cap of almost around 1.4 lakh crore. SBI Life has a market cap of around 87,000 crore and ICIC Prudential has a market cap of around 70,000 crore. So in terms of market cap, SDFC Life is number 1, followed with SBI Life and ICIC Prudential is number 3. If you look at the stock return, SDFC Life had an IPO in November 17 at a price band of Rs 290. Since then, it has zoomed to the current level of Rs 713 at a CAGR of 32%. SBI Life had an IPO in September 17 at a price band of Rs 700 and since then, its share price has jumped to Rs 895 at a CGR of 7.2%. ICICI Prudential Life had its IPO in September 16 at a price band of Rs 334. Since then, it has grown to current level of 490 at a CGR of 8.9%. So all three companies are relatively new in terms of share listing. In terms of returns since listing, SDFC Life is number 1, ICICI Prudential is number 2 and SBI Life is at third position. If you look at the revenues in last 5 years, SDFC Life revenue has increased from Rs 18,141 crore to currently at 52,683 crore by December 20. SBI Life revenues have increased from Rs 19,324 crore to currently at 66,798 crore by December 20. And ICICI Prudential Life revenue have increased from Rs 20,849 crore to currently at 55,562 crore by December 20. As per the latest revenue figure, SBI Life is number 1, followed by ICIC Prudential and SDFC Life is at 3rd position. Although, there is a very little difference in revenues of ICIC Prudential and SDFC Life. In terms of revenue growth in last 5 years, SDFC Life revenues have grown at a CGR of 25.2%. SBI Life revenues have grown at a CGR of 29.8%. And ICIC Prudential revenues have grown by 22.2%. So in terms of revenue growth, SBI Life is number 1, followed with SDFC Life and then ICIC Prudential. If you look at the profits in last 5 years, SDFC Life profits have increased from Rs 817 crore to currently at 1353 crore 
SBI Life profits have increased from Rs 844 crore to currently at 1454 crore by December 20. And ICICI Prudential profits have reduced from 1650 crore to 1072 crore by December 20. As per the latest profit figure, SBI Life is number 1 followed by HDFC Life and ICICI Prudential is at third position. In terms of profit growth in last 5 years, HDFC Life profit have grown at a CGR of 11.2%. SBI Life profits have grown at a CGR of 12.1%. And ICICI Prudential Life profits have shrunk at a CGR of 8.68%. So in terms of profit growth in last 5 years, SBI Life is number 1 followed with HDFC Life and then ICICI Prudential. If you look at the return on equity, HDFC Life ROE for December 20 stood at 17.3%. SBI Life ROE is 14.3% and ICICI Prudential ROE is 12%. So HDFC Life is number 1 in terms of ROE, followed with SBI Life and ICICI Prudential at 3rd position. If you look at the return on capital employed, that is ROCE, HDFC Life ROCE for December 20 stood at 18.3%. SBI Life ROCE is 17% and ICICI Prudential ROCE stood at 12.6%. So HDFC Life is number 1 followed with SBI Life and ICICI Prudential at 3rd position. If you look at the latest debt to equity ratio, HDFC Life debt to equity is 0.08 which is almost debt free. SBI Life is completely debt free with zero debt. And ICICI Prudential Life has a low debt to equity of 0.13. So all three companies are comfortably placed in terms of their debt to equity ratio. If you look at the promoter share holding, SDFC Life Promoter Shareholding for December 20 stood at 58.8%, SBI Life Promoter Shareholding stood at 60.7%. So all three companies have good amount of shareholding from promoters, which shows the trust of promoter in the company. Now the final and most important part that is the valuation. If you look at the valuation, SDFC Life share currently is trading at Rs. 713 at a P ratio of 105. Whereas its median PE is around 90. Its PEG ratio is 11. That makes HDFC Life a super expensive stock at current valuation. SBI Life share is currently trading at Rs 895 at a PE ratio of 60. Whereas its median PE since launch is around 56. So it means SBI Life is trading at fair valuation. Although the PEG ratio is still on the higher side at 5. But SBI Life is available at much better valuation than SDFC Life. ICIC Prudential is currently trading at 334 rupees at a PE ratio of 65, whereas its median PE since IPO is 35. Again, the valuations are expensive. Overall, if we conclude, in terms of market cap, SDFC Life is number one, followed with SBI Life and ICIC Prudential. In terms of stock returns since IPO, SDFC Life is again number one, followed with ICIC Prudential and then SBI Life. In terms of revenue and profit size, SBI Life is number one, followed with SDFC Life. In terms of revenue and profit growth, again SBI Life is number one, followed with SDFC Life. However, in terms of profitability, that is ROE and ROCE, SDFC Life is number one, followed with SBI Life and then ICIC Prudential. In terms of debt to equity, all three companies are comfortable. Finally, in terms of valuation, although all three companies are currently available at expensive valuation, SBI Life is still available at much better valuation than SDFC Life. If you would ask me, my pick would be both SDFC Life and SBI Life. What is your pick? Do let me know in the comment box. In the next video, I will compare the companies in the piping category including Estrel Poly, Phenolics Industries, Supreme Industries and Prince Pipe. Till then, take care.